Hello. 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 How are we? Good. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't know where to start yet. Uh, I went to the gym the other day. People usually laugh at that part. <laughs> I went to the gym the other day, and this girl came up to me and said, Hey, Jono. That's my street name. <laughs> so, hey, Jono, you look fucking gorgeous. <laughs> well, yeah, but well, why is your guide dog pissing on my leg? Because <laughs> she's blind. <laughs> I'm here. I'm from Kirby. Exactly. <laughs> Sock robbers. Yo, what a race. I went to a pub quiz the other day in Kirby. And the first question was, what are you looking at? <laughs> Top prize was an alibi. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, my head's got a little bit. I, uh, I've just come off uh, a really bad breakup. She was an elder against the will or not. I do actually get a girlfriend. But, uh, it was hard, like, you know what I mean? But what, what, what gets me is people always used to say, John, oh, you used to, oh, you're, you're punching above your weight there. And then she put on some weight. <laughs> Swings and roundabouts, isn't it? <laughs> now, I'm still trying, to, uh, I'm still trying to find my place. Um, I'm not just a comedian. I, um, I used to work corporate jobs and stuff. Used to be a proper suit and tie. Um, it's the, I, I tell stories mostly, like that's the, the little one-liner type jokes I got then, that's the best you're gonna get. <laughs> but yeah, I used to be a very corporate type person. Um, I was a documentary filmmaker at one point, series. And I, um, I was working in an office one time, and everyone in the office was a uh, southerner. And obviously I was the only scouser in the office. And obviously we've got a bit of a heavy stereotype, haven't we? <laughs> you know what I mean? And one day, I uh, turned up to the office um, and a pen went missing. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, a pen. And obviously I was there, oh, it's the scouser. And I get called into a discipline in any right? Get called in over a pen, you know what I mean? And I turn around and go, hey, this is scouser, is this? You've just pulled me up on bare stereotype. <laughs> this is bang on, not having it. <laughs> oh, yeah, I did drop the pen. It's <laughs> <laughs> on the points of the fingers. But yeah, apart from like weird little corporate jobs and stuff, I tend to do weird things. So, like, I went to Thailand two years ago. Anyone been to Thailand? <laughs> I'm not a grass like. <laughs> yeah, well, I went to Thailand. Um, basically, I've, I've got a mate who lives in Thailand, and all I had to do is like pay for flights. He said, "Hey, John." Oh, what? <laughs> I'll get to it. I guess better. <laughs> nice. So, my mate goes, yeah, yeah, just get the flight, stay over the eyes. Go, yeah, all right then. And uh, basically, I've got to change the story a little bit because some people don't like the names getting mentioned. So, I went to Thailand with this fella that looked like my dad. <laughs> <laughs> and these other fellas that look like my dad's mate. So we all go out there and we, we, we stay in my mate's house. He's an expat, he lives out there like... And his local bar is a karaoke bar, which was also the brothel. <laughs> <laughs> like, how the fuck does that work, you know what I mean? Imagine going in and saying, hey, how much? And the girl goes, sing Kiss From A Rose by Seal first. <laughs> <laughs> then we'll bar, sir. How much, though? I'll get to me. I'll get it in. <laughs> so... Obviously, I don't know this when I first turn up with this fella that looks like my dad. <laughs> but, like, I love karaoke. So when I turn up to me, mate, Ken, oh, should we go to the bar? Yes, lad, it's karaoke. <laughs> Fucking is right. <laughs> I go to this bar and this guy comes out. And he goes, hey, do you want to sing? I don't know why he's Mexican, but I can't do a Thai accent. <laughs> <laughs> That's just different Mexican. 
Hey, do you want to sing? Yes, please. So he invites me in with this fella that looks like my dad and these other fellas that look like my dad's mates. <laughs> we all go into this bar and he gets this like set list out of songs for us to sing. Now I consider myself quite artistic, so I'm taking my time, picking the right tune. Meanwhile, this fella that looks like my dad's dancing with this bird. <laughs> well out of his league. I just let it happen, he's on holiday, I'm not gonna judge him, so am I. And then, you know, I picked my song, a girl starts dancing with me, but it was... It's hard to describe the dancing. Have you ever been out and you've got like a gram of flake in your pocket and everyone really likes it? Do you know what I mean? Everyone's all coming up to you. It, it was that type of thing. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going away like, and I'm like, ah, this is a brothel, isn't it? <laughs> so, say, listen, Queen, I can't. I'm with this fella that looks like my dad. <laughs> These other fellas that look like my dad's mates. I can't do that one. So then the pimp or whatever his name is comes over and he goes, hey, gringo. <laughs> kind of the Mexican thing. <laughs> hey, gringo, you still gonna pay her? I went, yeah, but like, how much? He said, 50 baht. Now I'm for you, but at this point, because I think that's 50 quid our money, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm like, nah, I'm not paying it, she touched me. Nah, I'm not having it. Was that 50 baht? Or well, how much is that in my money? A quid. <laughs> I made it rain. <laughs> I only went out with my child, you know what I mean? I was a millionaire. I could be TLA away at some point. You know what I mean? There's a motability scout or somewhere in Bangkok. But I left, the, I left the karaoke bar slash brothel with the fella that looks like my dad. And I get into a taxi at the end of the night and I think to myself, right, only someone from Kirby could spend roughly about 20 quid at a brothel in Thailand just to get tickled by a prostitute. <laughs> Thank you very much, everyone. <laughs>